546, and we are continuing to follow a traffic alert this morning. Uh, we've had a number of landslides around the region. They're causing problems for drivers. Cor Harlan is live this morning with some details. Cor, where are you, and uh, what's the problem there? Well, we're uh, on West Burnside, uh, Ken, where uh, beginning this morning through Sunday, uh, there will be a full closure here of West Burnside between 7 o'clock and 3 p.m. in the afternoons. That's uh, to allow PBOT crews to get in here and work on some hillside that has historically had some problems with sliding. We're talking about uh, this area just down from the Cavalry Cemetery up here along uh, West Burnside. Uh, last Friday, in the midst of all of that heavy rain we had there, uh, the PBOT road crews were notified that there was some debris sliding out from uh, behind that rock wall that they had installed here a couple of years ago above the cemetery there. Uh, they closed uh, essentially what are the eastbound lanes of West Burnside for a time. But again, those full closures of West Burnside, okay? So both lanes of traffic are, are going to be closed this morning and for the next four mornings from 7 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon to allow road crews to get in there, uh, remove some of the debris, do what they can to shore up that hillside. They've already put a drain pipe in there to divert some of the water away from there as well. On to southwest Washington now, where SR4, uh, uh, west of Kathlamet near Bjornstad Road, uh, also has some issues with sliding as well. Uh, this happened last Thursday when uh, the hillside above the uh, highway there gave way. And uh, you can see some of the video there that uh, trees and lots of mud and stuff just slid right into the roadway there. Uh, they awarded uh, an emergency repair contract, Washington State's Department of Transportation did on Monday, uh, to get a construction crew in there, get that debris out of the road, and do what they can uh, to shore up that hillside to prevent more slides from happening in the future. Again, SR4, this is uh, west, west of Kathlamet, it is closed until further notice. As far as Washington State's Department of Transportation uh, is, uh, cr uh, crews are uh, concerned there to get that stabilized as well. And, of course, an oldie, I said this again, oldie but a goodie, the old Columbia River Highway does have some problems with slides on it uh, as well. There are lots of steep terrain in that area, susceptible to sliding amidst all of the rain that we've had there as well. So be advised, those are three areas here in the region, West Burnside, SR4 west of Cuthlamet, and the old Columbia River Highway. We're having some problems with mudslides there and road closures, so just be advised of that as you go along uh, your, uh, your daily routines if you happen to use those areas. And Carly Canelli will be along here in just a few minutes. Tell us some detours to get around those areas uh, if you happen to have to commute in those areas. Jenny and Ken? Yeah, all right. Well, it could cause some uh, traffic issues for sure on 26. Mm -hmm. I know you'll talk about that because yes. a lot of people use those roads they to do. get around that. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. First, let's talk about weather. Uh, Kelly has a look at that. Uh, and uh, what do you see out there in terms of especially the rain? 